It's chicken processing day. We have about eight chickens that we need to process today. We won't be showing the actual kill. YouTube doesn't like that sort of thing. So, um, but we will be showing everything else. If you don't like blood and guts and all that, then this might not be the video for you. But I will give a warning before all the gross stuff comes that uh, you can skip ahead. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But let's get started. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we've got our chicken butchering set up here. We've got kill cones, chicken plucker, scalder, and then the processing table. That one looks huge, and that one looks huge. Yeah, they do. Back, one? back. <laughs> that one, right behind the feeder. First one. He's not very happy. He's not that big. He's not alive, don't worry. The nerves. It's in there. muscle spasms. Yeah, he's he's not alive anymore. Right, Putting him upside down actually kind of makes him lethargic. Oh, really? Yeah. See how the eyes glaze over like that? Yeah. Totally dead. Oh. Instantly. That's yeah. how you know. But they will. Nervous twitch. Every animal does that. Right. I think it's like the blood, like the heart's still trying to pump or something. Whatever you want. Right. Well, let's see if we can fit one in there. Oh, yeah, we can fit both of them in there. Feathers are coming off real nice now. They're just not corners cross. They're just not fat and unhappy like the adults. Yeah. It's interesting that. I mean, ideally, we'd like them to go longer than this, but they're just. It's just so cold right now. Like next year, we'll have bigger chickens. stock or something.
your hands are cold? My knife is dull. Oh. I was wondering what that is. I mean, these might be perfect size for us. Right. Because we don't eat a lot. But, like, the breasts, like, the breasts isn't going to be like a Cornish cross. They're not going to be like those big ones, you know? I mean, there's still breasts in there. They're just not huge. They're not. They're like those little ones. Yeah, they're just smaller. So much. Uh, yeah, like the craw right there is so much smaller. Try to grab like, the windpipe. Giant. Yeah. There we go. There's the windpipe. Oh, oh no. Get out of your copper. smaller. See there's a lung. There's a lung on this side, but they look really healthy. Yeah. You see that one right to the left there? Right here. Yeah that big one right there. This guy's pretty big. Yeah this guy is big. One to the right there is really big. Against right the yeah. That oh. one is big. size for, I mean, you could probably fit more than two in there. Right. Of this part, at least. Right. The windpipe and the esophagus. They're so tiny. I know. It's not too cold out here right now. I mean, it's cold, but it's not horrible. It says the one who's doing things. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Oh, we just need scissors. There's ones in there, but they're not clean. Oh, it's fine. It's just for like custom bags. Okay, so we gotta get some bags. Basically, you just cut, you make your own bags. Cool. So like if we want open. a couple breasts in there, you know, we could do something this size. Ooh. How does it, does it oh, cause it you. seals off, does it like heat one side up? Yeah, so you put it in there like that. And there's the, that's the, the seal. Oh, I see. And then you close it down. And then, so there's a vacuum and a seal. So seal, and then we put our stuff in. 
And then seal it. Seal it up. So we got a leg and a thigh. I mean, I feel like the wings are good size. Or the legs. Yeah, on this one it's not bad. There's your breast right there. Yeah. Tiny. <laughs> So what are we thinking? Do we just want wings and legs all in one, or? BBF chicken necks and backs are the best cuts for making outstanding chicken broth. There. Thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> That's um, fine. Yeah, we'll vacuum seal the whole bird, but what we'll do is we'll split them. What? We'll split them. Like in half? Cause then we can lay it flat and that'll be a lot easier to and then we can use the back to cook with too Ooh. sounds crunchy well i guess that goes in the chicken stock Spatch cock chickens that was the end of our day we ended up butchering five chickens we originally were going to do eight but they were a little tinier than we wanted so we decided to just go with five and do the rest later on but we started with our chicken stock but we only have 37 minutes left and it smells so so good thanks for watching everybody and we will see you in the next video